The question I have for black Americans, for the bulk of black Americans, why are you so angry? And why are you so racist? What reason do you have to be so angry and racist towards whites and towards blacks? It's almost like you're just angry at the world. For no apparent reason. If anybody. Have the right to be angry. If anybody have the right. To be. Racist or have any type of racist hate. Within them are people. That's my age. And older. People that have come up. Through the civil rights movement. That experience. Real racism. We're the ones that have a right. But even we don't feel like the bulk of black Americans feel today. We are so color struck. It's almost like someone bewitched you. You're under a trance, a spell. Someone had worked some voodoo on you to the point where you cannot see anything but color. I have a video and this happened more than a few times where a white person or mainly a white female would comment the video and she would be attacked by racist blacks. Now my channel is not a racist channel. I deal with just about every topic under the sun. I am no respecter of person. I'll talk about black folk. I'll talk about white folk. I'll talk about Asian people. I'll talk about Arabs. I'll talk about Christians. I'll talk about preachers. I'll talk about Buddhists if I need to. I'll talk about Muslims. I'll talk about gays and lesbians. I'll talk about people that come up in the topics that I speak about. But the channel is not a racist channel. So your racist comments toward people that comment my videos and people that are subscribed to my channel, you don't have a right to come and racially attack them for the sole purpose of color. Now, this one female, this white female was asked a question by this black dude. And this is a question that was asked more than a few times by some black dudes. What color is Jesus? Had nothing to do with the topic. Maybe because of the fact that she mentioned the Most High. Or she mentioned Jesus or um, God or something. And then she's now being attacked um, because of color. You know, what color is Jesus? And she answered the question quite well. I like the way she answered that question. But the question came to my mind is like, why are we so hypnotized when it comes to color? I'm so tired of hearing about black. Black Americans are more racist, and I said this before a few times, more racist than racist white people. I don't have a problem with racist white people. Every now and then somebody come under a ghost account and make comment, but I don't know who they are. Okay? They could be a black person pretending to be white. And then you got white people that pretend to be black. Okay, so I don't pay them no mind. But the racism in these days and times are coming from black Americans. Young black Americans that never experienced racism. Real racism. I'm not talking about somebody calling you nigger because you call yourself nigger. See? You call yourselves that. So... And then you get mad at other people because they don't accept you calling them that. But you say you made, you changed that word and, you know, you turned the bad word into good. But yet at the same time, you get mad at white people for doing the things that you do to them. So you could tell that white girl, why are you on this channel? A channel that does not even belong to you. 
channel says Fearless 2005, but you're going to ask a white female, why are you on this channel? This is for black people. My channel is for anybody who want to come and comment. See? See, I, I'm no respected person like that. I don't have that in my blood. See? I'm not angry. I have no reason to hate white people. I have no reason to hate Asian people. I have no reason to hate black people except for the black people that do evil in the land. Those people I speak against. And then like in one of my last videos, they're not my brothers. We're not the same. Because the spirit is not the same. See? So, I just want to know why are black, modern day blacks, so angry? Who's preventing you from excelling in life? Who? So you can't blame the white man. Unless that white man tell you, Negroid, I'm going to say Negroid, you can't go to school. Negroid, you can't buy no clothes. Because you get your clothes from the white man, you buy your food from the white man. And then a lot of y'all, especially a lot of y'all that spew out racial hate, and then you got biracial children. What's up with that? You got biracial children talking about black power. See? But I'm so tired of black power. I'm tired of coon, Uncle Ruckus, boot liquor, nigger, nigger, negro, black. I'm sick of all that nonsense and it's coming from black Americans. And see, this, the sad thing about that is you do the job. This is like Willie Lynch in full effect. See, right now you're acting out Willie Lynch. Now, a lot of y'all may come back with, well, Willie Lynch is not real and it's fictional. and it's, But the point is you're doing exactly what's written in the Willie Lynch letter. You turned on yourselves. And you're more racist towards blacks than the white races is. There are white races. If you sit down and talk to a person, a white person that you feel is a white racist, you'll discover that they're not really even a racist. They may have the same views and opinions that you have. But what it is, they have the same... Okay, better yet, what you prefer to as a white racist, if you were to talk to... In Africa, an African uh, from the continent that come here to America. And a lot of y'all talk about Africans don't like black Americans. Have you ever sat down and talked to an African and found out why many of them don't like you? If you sit down and talk to an African and ask them, what do you guys have against black Americans? Watch what they tell you. And then you sit down and talk to a white racist. Heart to heart, without emotions. And then you compare what the white races say versus what the Africans said. And you will see they both have the same issues with you. The same exact issues with you. See? So it's not, a lot of times, what you call racism is not even racism. It's not even racial hate. But... The mind is so powerful, but yet so weak to the point where what you don't like about a person could make you think you hate that person. What you don't like about that person will blind you and make you see color only. That happened to white people. Take a white woman or white man get robbed. White woman get raped. One person did that. But yet she will end up thinking that she hate the black race. Because of what a black man did. Same thing with a black female that is beat by a white man or raped by a white man or drugged by a white man. She would think all white people are that way. She would fear white people just like you fear cops. One cop would do a bad thing and then the whole police department is bad. 
one black man go rob a bank, and now all black men are put in that category. But if you really sit down and talk to a white racist, you would discover that they have the same beliefs you have if you're trying to live and do what is right. See? Now, I'm not going to say that there's no white racists out there. There's, there's hatred out there. You know, whenever you have human beings, man, hatred has always been on this earth. And as a matter of fact, before this world be even began, there was hatred. Go back and read the Gnostic texts, the Nag Hammadi Library, the origin of the worlds. And you will discover that even before creation began, there was hate. Before creation began, there were lies. There was pain. There was woes. There was wars because a war took place in heaven. And Michael the Archangel kicked Satan out. But anyway, it's always been, even before this world began. So, what you look at as racial hate, a lot of times it's not even racial hate. It could just be the mere fact that you hate yourself. And you just need somebody to take that out on. But the majority of the white people you claim you hate, you don't know nothing about them. You never sat down and held a conversation with them. And I almost guarantee you, if you was out in the street and you needed help, I've seen more white people get begging black dudes money. Dudes out there with a cup. Walking around, black dudes, young black dudes, walking around there begging in the streets. Black people walking right by you, don't give you nothing. A white person come put money in the cup. And you bowing, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you, thank you, sir, thank you, sir. But then you want to get on social medias and talk about the cracker and the honkies and how much you hate white people. But yet, every day you get up and you go buy your food, who do you think on Walmart? Who do you think you got your camera from? Who do you think the social media that you are now using belongs to? Who do you think that belongs to? You go to the white man for what you need, but then you want to talk about him? Talk about how much you hate him? Leave his stuff alone. If you hate white people that much, start your own business. Buy, sew your own clothes, make your own clothes, get your own material. As a matter of fact, you can get your own animals that you can, you know, weave your wool, whatever you do the wool, and spin the wool, and make your own. You can do your own stuff. All you got to do is get on YouTube. YouTube, you can learn anything you want on YouTube. You know, you can learn how to do that stuff and start your own production. So you ain't got to get nothing from the white man. You ain't got to trade with him. But until that point, man, you are a hypocrite. You are a hypocrite, man, and you, you, you hate yourself. You hate yourself so much you hate anything because while all y'all sitting there spewing hatred towards white people, talking about because what they did to my people, they would go with that my people best again. Mess, I call it mess. My people, because of what they did to my ancestors. You don't even know these people. Outside of what you read in the book. Other than that, you don't know nothing about no ancestors. Ain't no kin, no relation to you, none whatsoever. Talking about my people, my ancestors. If you were so concerned about your ancestors, you'd be mad at them, them so-called wannabe thugs out there that's killing each other in the street. They're killing your people, and you ain't saying nothing about them. As a matter of fact, you justifying them murdering each other. You justifying them out there selling drugs to each other. Black people selling drugs to black people. Black people killing black people. But you gonna blame the white man? Talking about we ain't got no bombs, we got no, we ain't got no planes, we got no ships to get that stuff over there. See, the white man put it in our neighborhood, and you pick it up and you sell it to your own people. And then you want to talk about black power? Looking like a demon. So. I just want to know, and yeah, I'm on a rant, but I just want to know, why, what, why are you angry? I guarantee you, if you go back and you sit down and you start going over your life, events that took place in your life, what made you choose to make the choices that you made, you would discover it had nothing to do with white people. May have, had may have something to do with your family or the people you grew up around. 
or choices that you made because I see so I've seen so many young people in my life grow up in good homes. Everything was given to them. Just about every black person got a cell phone, got a smartphone. You don't have a I see every now and then with the little Obama phone, but they use those for drug dealing, right? But and don't even know that those phones are I ain't gonna get into that. But anyway, everybody got a smartphone. But yeah, you talking about I can't just yesterday I put it on Facebook. I was talking to a young lady, right? And I'm in this video. Talking to a young lady, black female, right? That was talking about what's that? On my lip. You ever feel something on your lip? You're like, what is that on my lip? Food or something? Coming from between my teeth. But this this female, I heard it coming from quite a few black females, man, when they can't get what they want. When they can't get their way, they start pouting. So this black female was talking about she's sick of life and her life ain't no good and she's about ready to end her life and why didn't, why didn't her father abort her and all this other nonsense, this garbage she was talking, pity party thing, right? Talking about nobody helping me, I got put out of my house and me and my kids got put out and blah, 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 blah. So I'm talking to this sister. Come to find out after talking to this chick, man. She a weed smoker. A heavy weed smoker. Tattoos all over her body. Got piercings on her lips and on her tongue and all over her face. Got pictures of weed all up on her. And she's getting high on her Facebook page. She felt getting high and partying and buying tattoos was more important than buying food and paying her bills. So now she ain't got no place to go. Her and the kids are out on the street. Going going to the mission. Going downtown begging these same white folk for help that she was talking about she hate. Yeah, she was one of them black power people. Talking about hate white people and the white people doing this, white people this and them crackers this and them crackers this and post, posting all these slave pictures on the internet. Now she going downtown begging them for food because of the fact she took her money and bought weed. She took her money and bought tattoo piercings and all this other nonsense. Went out partying. So now her and the kids are on the street ain't got nothing. And she mad at her family and everybody else because now nobody won't come to her rescue and help her out of the condition that she's in. That she put herself in. See, and that's how a lot of blacks are, man. Black Americans are that way, man. You put yourself in situations and then want to blame the white man. You want to blame everybody else. And then when you see another black person that's doing better, you think is doing better than you, now you're showing hatred towards that person. You want to hate on this person now. Next thing you know, you're trying to break in this person's house. The same black person you say you love, I love my black people, but now you breaking in their house and you selling them drugs. Because of the fact that and the drugs that you got from the white man. And then you use the white man's guns, illegal guns at that, to shoot each other. But then you want to sit there and tear up your own neighborhood and town because Michael Brown got shot and killed. So, y'all are hypocrites, man. But I just want to know why are you so angry? And why are you such a big racist? You, 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 you a big racist, man. You're a racist. Why? What reason do you have to be a racist in this day and time? What's hindering you? What's stopping you from being productive in life? So feedback. Tell me what you think. Till next time. I'm fearless.